Our third rig is going to be a 3D bouncy ball. We're going to take our 2D bouncy ball and bring it into the world of 3D. Sounds simple, eh? And from the standpoint of the actual steps we have to take to rig it, it is going to be pretty simple. Let's cover our requirements for the rig. Just like the 2D bouncy ball rig, our 3D ball is going to be geared towards cartoony motion, so we still need squash and stretch. But unlike our 2D ball, this ball needs to be able to move and rotate in all three dimensions. It's still pretty simple. However, in keeping with the pattern of this DVD so far, I'm going to take this simple rig as an opportunity to explain something really complex and weird. And that complex and weird thing is 3D rotations. This is the chapter where you get to learn all about quaternion rotations, Euler rotations, axis angle rotations, and also just about 3D rotations in general. And it turns out that this is a bit of a mind-bending topic, but I'll do my best to make it easy to understand. Wish me luck!